everybody! This is the first of a series of videos about palettes and colors in Beadographer. Now if you've been following the video course from the beginning, you'll know that I've been jumping around and introducing the tools in the toolbar. We're going to go and talk about palettes, but it's okay. We'll come back and finish the tools after we've talked about colors a bit, because I think this is the next thing you need to know. So over here we have the palette menu. I call these swatches or colors, sort of interchangeably, so I hope that's not confusing. And down here is the active style bead. This shows the style that will be used when you add beads to the canvas. So you can see it's not in the palette yet. Um, I'm going to add some beads on the canvas, and if there are beads on the canvas, they will automatically be put into the palette. If I click on another swatch in the palette, it changes the active style. Now if I add beads, it, it you can see it reflects that, that active style. I'll click on another one. There we go. Now if you have the tooltips turned on in the view settings menu and you hover over each swatch, you can see that the information about each swatch is, is given in the tooltips. So that can be really helpful. If I hold down shift and click, I got an edit swatch menu and this lets me change the description. It gives the color which I can click on and tweak if I want to but I won't because this is a color from the bead library that's an actual product so that's actually a close match. It says whether there's a secondary color and I'll talk about that in a separate video. It says what the finish is, the transparency, and I can assign a bead symbol. There are other ways to change all this information and do all the beads at once, but I'll cover that later. 